Hello, in today's video we're going to be discussing some ways that we can implement to get more clicks on our videos and a far better retention high. First tip is probably the simplest one to implement and it is adding end screen to your video. Now are you sitting there asking why Lisa? Why should I add an end screen? If you are, good, keep listening. And if you're not, why are you not asking that question? Because you should be. The YouTube algorithm gives us lots of information and it is very useful and something that you should check on a regular basis. One piece of information that it gives you is what you should be doing in your YouTube videos for them to get better performance. The information is all there for you, you just need to look for it. Adding an end screen works like... Now to explain why it works so well. You upload your video and you fill it with valuable content as well as other things that we're going to discuss in a few minutes and this makes your audience retention better and what this means is that people watch to the end of your video and the reason you want them to do that is to get to the end screen as well as learning from the video they're watching so say three people watch your video and they get to the end screen and they click on that and they go on to watch that video as well and that video's got an end screen so they click on that as well so what they're doing is staying on your channel as opposed to going to suggested videos because the suggested videos are not coming up what's coming up is your end screen and the people are clicking on that so why does that work better for you? Once your videos have received several clicks from different people and they've also gone on to watch more of your videos, then it triggers a metric in the YouTube algorithm. And once that is triggered, YouTube will then put your videos into the suggested videos feed. And this will mean that you will get more clicks and more watch time. The simplest way to make this happen is during your videos and you say when you get towards the end of the video, go here and watch the next video because it is going to help you massively. The difference between being in suggested videos and not is huge. Your videos can go from only getting 50 views per video to thousands of views. So using end screens is a good practice to get into. At the end of the day, as far as YouTube is concerned, all they want is for more people to stay on the platform. They are not interested in one video getting thousands of clicks and another video only getting 20 clicks. All they want is people to watch the video and it doesn't matter what the video is. Based on that principle, what you want is people to be watching your videos instead of other people's videos. It has been proven by quite a few channels that have massive subscriber bases who have carried out experiments that by using end screen you can get people to watch two, three or four of your videos as opposed to them go into the next suggested video and at the end of the day that is what you want to happen to make your channel grow faster and to get more subscribers. Adding an end screen is extremely simple and it only takes 30 seconds but it can have a massive 
impact on your channel so make sure to do it right let's dive in now to tip number two you need to make your videos valuable and the best way to do this is to get to the point don't be sitting there waffling about things that people are not actually interested in because that will make them click away faster than anything one of the worst things that you can do is ask people to subscribe to your channel to hit the like button and to smash the notification bell because that is not offering any value at all to your video and it is making the video about you as opposed to the person who's watching it which is what the video should be aimed at tip number three is don't leave fluff in your video what's fluff lisa what are you talking about well fluff is this hi my name's lisa i'm sorry i've not been on youtube fucking <laughs> hey, sure put the wee hat on <laughs> i've not been on youtube for three or four weeks because oh my god i've got information overload and i'm totally burnt out so that's why I haven't been making videos for a while. I'm sorry that I've not been around. That's fluff. Don't leave it in your videos. Cut it out. Yes, that will mean that your video is shorter. But if you are putting things into perspective and using your time wisely by adding the right type of content, then more people are going to watch your videos and not just watch one but watch several and in that instance you will get more watch time from two or three videos than you will from a person only watching half a video the next tip i've got for you is to add music into your videos and the best way to do that is to ensure that they are not copyrighted pieces of music otherwise you will get a strike on your youtube channel the way i get over this is i use canva pro and i have added my youtube channel to the information in canva and that stops it from being copyrighted and causing a major problem Another quick tip for you is during the editing process, add sound effects because that will help with your audience retention. And my very last tip for you is to add something funny into your video, but not necessarily a joke because not all people have the same sense of humour and at the end of the day, you can please some of the people some of the time but you cannot please all of the people all of the time so don't even try go here and watch the next video well that's it for this video i look forward to seeing you on the next one bye bye for now